Good morning, guys. Today we are going to start reading um, actually one of my favorite realistic fiction books called Loser by Jerry Spinelli. Jerry Spinelli is um, an awesome author who writes tons of realistic fiction books. We will probably end up reading about two of his books for the rest of this school year. Um, and we're going to start with this one because I think you guys will really, really like it. So when we start a read aloud that we're going to be reading for a while, it's always kind of cool to look at the cover and kind of take a guess um, about what this book might actually be about. Here's the cover here. It says loser. And it says why fit in when you can just stand out. And I don't know, I feel like right there might be a possible lesson idea on the cover of the book. Why fit in when you can just stand out. Um, and the word loser, let's actually think about that a moment. I know that the regular definition of a loser is someone who loses something. Maybe it's a race, maybe it's an award, maybe it's a game, it just means you lost something. But we know that that word is very powerful and can definitely have another meaning. Like if a student were to call another student a loser, I think we all might have a definition in our head of what that word might actually um, mean or what another meaning of that word is. It's very negative connotation, right, to that word. So I want you to take a moment and think if you were to call someone a loser, we know that's a very mean thing to say, but take a moment to pause. What, what do you mean by that word if you call somebody a loser? Yeah, I mean, you're probably, it's almost like bullying or name calling, right? When you call someone a loser, it definitely, it might mean that they don't fit in, that you think that they're weird, um, maybe that you think that they're unpopular. And so really interesting title choice for a book. Um, like I said, this book is realistic fiction. So take a moment to pause the video and think, what does that mean? Realistic fiction, you're right, is fiction, so it's fake, it's made up. The characters are completely made up by our author, Jerry Spinelli. But what's cool about realistic fiction is the, the things, the conflicts, the problems that happen to the characters in the book are things that we deal with all the time in our real lives. So we can make connections to the characters and things like that. So like I said, we're gonna jump in and just read chapter one today, just to get a nice introduction into this book and who the main character might possibly be. Let's jump right in. Chapter one is called, You Grow Up. You grow up with a kid, but you never really notice him. He's just there, on the street, the playground, the neighborhood. He's part of the scenery, like the parked cars, and the green plastic cans on trash day. So that word scenery right there is kind of a tough word, but scenery just means your usual surroundings. So what's around you? So my scenery right now is an office. We got a closet, we got a bookcase. Sometimes there's a cat running around this room. That is my scenery, what is around me. So it says he's just part of the scenery, like the parked cars and the green plastic cans on trash day. You pass through school, first grade, second grade. There he is, going along with you. You're not friends, you're not enemies. You just cross paths now and then. Maybe at the park playground one day you look up and there he is on the other end of the seesaw. Or it's winter and you sled to the bottom of Half Tank Hill. And you're trudging back up and there he goes zipping down his arms out like a swan diver, screaming his head off. And maybe it annoys you that he seems to be having even more fun than you, but it's a one second thought and it's over. You don't even know his name. And then one day you do. You hear someone say a name and somehow you just know that's who the name belongs to. It's that kid, Zinkoff. So that is the end of chapter one. I want you to think for a moment before um, I leave you to answer some questions, making connections to this uh, first chapter. 
how is it possible to grow up with other kids but never really notice them? Like, have you ever experienced that where maybe there's a kid that was in your class in preschool and kindergarten, recognize their face, but don't know their name. They're just there, part of the scenery. You get used to seeing that kid around the hall or in the classroom, but you don't know much about that kid. Maybe they're shy. Maybe you've never had a conversation with them. So take a moment and try to make a connection. Is there somebody in your life who's just part of the scenery? Is it possible to grow up around people and not really know them or know who they are? And when you're done, you can either watch this video again. Um, I am also including the book. You're welcome to reread chapter one if you'd like to. I'm including it in the materials section of Google Classroom. It will always be there. And then take a few minutes to answer a few questions that I'll post on Google Classroom, mostly just making connections and thinking about this book a little bit before we dive in to chapters two through four in a couple of days. Take care, and I'll see you guys again soon.